Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Token Post interview. I am here joined by Mr. Robert Wickle, the CEO of Dash Core Group. Wait, I had to mess that up anyways. <laughs> it welcome, was good, sir. it was good. Thanks for having me. So uh, let's get on with the interview. According to the definition, Dash is a revolutionary digital money system. And before we get on with the interview, could you enlighten us on the definition of Dash? Mm -hmm. So Dash is a kind of abbreviation from digital cash. And uh, Dash is a cryptocurrency very focused on payments. Mm -hmm. Payments industry and payment solution, payments platform. We are developing payments platform for, for daily use. And the, the history behind Dash, is, we have started in 2014. Evan Duffield, our, our brilliant developer, started the, the, the new project. He saw some disadvantages of Bitcoin mm -hmm. on, on daily transactions, on, on payments industry. So he developed the, the solution that allows people to, to transact really quickly and with very low pr prices, mm -hmm. let's say. In, with current solution in Dash, you can uh, confirm your transaction within one second and the cost is below one cent. So it's very competitive, probably the, the fastest and the cheapest solution on the payments market at the moment. So when it comes to payments, I'm pretty sure you're aware there are a lot of competitors. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's a huge market. So what's original about Dash? I mean, what is the goal that you guys strive to achieve? Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, that must be something that separates from other competitors, right? Yeah, sure. So first of all, we are decentralized, like any or majority of blockchain based <laughs> solution we are decentralized we are working on our own public blockchain and uh, the the thing i have already mentioned uh, instant confirmation and and the very low cost makes us very different but it also uh, our plans our strategy that's something very exceptional because uh, in the future we are going to develop a solution that is extremely user friendly for, for the end user and also for the merchant. It, may, it will allow our merchants and developers to integrate Dash within one day, let's say, maximum, mm -hmm. and then start to, to operate like Stripe does, for mm -hmm. example. So uh, it's a personal story, but last week I had to change my phone. And uh, I, I t it took me like two or three hours to move all my mobile wallets into my new phone. Yeah, yeah, so, you, you were lucky that, <laughs> that you achieved this. So if I use Dash, would that be much easier? Oh yeah, we, with Evolution, which is our next big release. Next, Evolution. Next yeah, Dash Evolution. Mm -hmm. this, this is the code name of, of the project. We are, uh, we are planning a couple of releases this year. We have already released version 13 uh, last week, mm -hmm. actually. And it's the, the first major upgrade. We are expecting another one during this quarter and the, the, the next release after that is, is Dash Evolution MVP, let's say. And with Dash Evolution, you will have a user account. <laughs> Something you, you know perfectly from Google, Facebook, mm -hmm. or from PayPal, which is a great payments solution that is currently available on the market and you will not have to have <laughs> to migrate your wallet because you are changing your phone or PC or anything else. You will have a user account stored in the blockchain, mm -hmm. secured with, with crypto cryptography, and you, you will have an opportunity to access your account from any device at any point. So switching gear to from the eyes of the merchant, mm -hmm. when they want to implement a crypto payment system, uh, we discussed this in the pre-interview, but they would have to go through a third party and they would charge fees and that's something incoherent with the whole theme of blockchain, right? It's decentralized, everybody, everybody's attribute, attributed to their own assets, right? So if a merchant uses Dash Network or Dash, Dash, would they be more feasible to implement blockchain technology or cryptocurrency into their uh, payment system? Yeah, sure. Uh, of course, you, you will have still an opportunity to use, to use third party like Payments Gateway. Mm -hmm. they, they are providing great solutions currently and they will. Uh, the advantage of this is the fact that they will have a kind of couple of cryptocurrencies available in their portfolio. However, our goal is to develop a solution that uh, allows developers to integrate really quickly because we are developing software development kits. Those SDKs will be native languages for, for developers. So there will be no uh, like requirement to learn another language <laughs> like in case of Solidity. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you operate on Ethereum, you, you have to operate with Solidity. Yes, we yes. are developing SDKs for JavaScript, for C++, for, for Java, 
and Python and other languages, and it will simplify developer experience. We will we are providing decentralized uh, APIs as well. So you through this API you can you can access the the blockchain using your native language. Let's say from from developer perspective, and also we are developing a couple of plugins for the most popular e-commerce platforms. So the integration of Dash will be extremely easy, and you will not have to build like a dedicated <laughs> crypto team yeah. within your own company, which is expensive, right? Mm -hmm. Crypto crypto I mean, developers, blockchain developers are, like. I, I'm, 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 I heard that they get paid like so much, like much, much more than oh, the, simple the, developers from Silicon Valley. The, the premiums in, in blockchain industry like, are like between 50 and 100 percent comparing to, to oh. like regular developers. <laughs> so they are expensive and, you know, usually, usually one is not enough. So serving the role of digital cash, uh, the price of Dash seems to be one of core uh, points that traders or users would have to look into. And uh, through the bear market of 2018, Dash hasn't been performing that well. So are the core, mem core development team aware of, of the price indexes and, and are they making efforts to pump up the price maybe? Oh, no. <laughs> no. no, God help me. <laughs> it's, it's great that you like, uh, made a distinction be between users and, and traders or mm -hmm. speculators, right? Uh, trading is a kind of our area of interest in, in our strategy, but it's not our major focus, let's mm -hmm. say, right? Uh, payments industry is not for trading. Mm -hmm. Payment solutions are not speculative instruments, let's say. So uh, we are not developing a kind of tool or funny solution <laughs> for, for trading. Pump and, and dump for, schemes, no? Yeah, so <laughs> no, we are not interested in, in, in pumping the price. Mm -hmm. My sincere hope is that you know at some point in time the the, the price of dash will be stable mm -hmm. and that there will be no more pumps no more spikes and, and pumps uh, you know it's great it was exciting in 2017 <laughs> yes. all of these you know articles about lambos etc <laughs> people getting rich but it's it's not our goal mm -hmm. our goal is to is to develop a, a system develop a solution and this is our focus not the price not the charts not you know fancy AT techniques etc. But yes. uh, you know the, the the solution and the product is our major focus. Since 2014, like you mentioned, from the the correction with the aim of correcting Bitcoin, Dash has made a four-year effort. So I wanted to ask you, looking back on the history, previous history of Dash, what progress has you made? Yeah, so probably Dash is one of the most advanced and let's say. Mm, dedicated projects for the crypto industry because since the very beginning we have been developing many innovations we have started from uh, dark gravity wave so the the algorithm that uh, is re retargeting algorithm for for the cryptocurrency that is very characteristic to to dash x11 has been developed also by evan daffield and, and mm -hmm. dash developers so widely used algorithm right now uh, different than sha uh, and quite popular, the, there are ASICs already, but you know, original aim was to prevent ASICs usage. But mm -hmm. well, uh, we have expected that it will happen. <laughs> uh, Master Nodes concept is is also an idea developed by Dash developers. Oh really? So, yeah, yeah, sure. We we were the first we were the first project to develop Master Nodes, and this is originally original concept of of, of Dash. Uh, decentralized autonomous organization. First, first DAO is actually really? Dash DAO, <laughs> and it's still functioning despite oh. the, the failure of the DAO <laughs> from from Ethereum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dash DAO works since 2013. Mm -hmm. If no, sorry, <laughs> it's impossible. Since 2015, if I remember well, or 2016, and it works pretty well. We we have developed the, the governance and funding system mm -hmm. that proved its usability and, and value through all of these years, and it's still functioning. The, mm -hmm. our, our decentralized autonomous organization is, is pretty robust. Right now, it, the, there are many companies that, that are participating in this entire system and, and ecosy or ecosystem, let's say, and it works. Uh, it, it works in a way that 
10% of mining reward in Dash is being dedicated to, to the governance system. Mm -hmm. So 45% goes towards miners for, and this is a kind of payment for securing the network. Mm -hmm. For security services, 45% go, goes towards master nodes. And 10% goes to And 10% to goes towards DAO. And you know, the, every month there are being projects submitted to the network. Mm -hmm. Anyone can submit a project and uh, they are being voted by masternodes and the, the most valuable projects are being rewarded and, and being founded by, by the network. And this way, you know, this is a great governance system mm -hmm. and great funding solution for, for the network development. So uh, moving on to a bit recent events, as well as you mentioned about the mining part. So um, an article I came across stated, well, suggested a possible monopoly of uh, Dash mining, uh, suggesting where a single miner uh, takes over more than 50% of all mined Dash blocks. So are the development team or the core team aware of the situation and what's your take on this? Oh yeah, of, co of course we've been monitoring very closely the, the situation with Ethereum Classic and we have realized that the, there is a kind of issue, risk, and, and we, we, we need to mitigate this issue. So we have reached out to, to the company that uh, we're offering so much hashing power and this right now the, the risk uh, is gone, let's say. We, we, have, we have arranged some, some solutions, let's say, some, some potential scenarios and we're still monitoring the situation. But uh, we have or also already presented our like next generation <laughs> uh, solution to, to mitigate this kind of situation. Uh, chain logs, the, the technology we are developing with, uh, with Evolution and uh, with the, the, it will be released during the, four, the next release, num number 14. So mm -hmm. probably in one or two months it will be deployed and, and released to the network. And this is a kind of additional security measure, additional security a uh, solution that prevents 51% uh, attack. Mm -hmm. So, of course, we are aware, we are monitoring the, the situation and we are providing a uh, very reliable, modern, another solution mm -hmm. that, that can, you know, improve cryptocurrencies as as whole. It's good to hear that you guys are working to resolve the problems that are being suggested. And uh, moving on to the last, very last part of the interview, uh, I wanted to finish up with the future plans of Dash. So we're entering 2019. 2018 was a difficult year for many crypto or blockchain projects. So, so what's your plan for 2019? Yeah, actually, uh, 2018 was pretty fascinating because the, the price dropped significantly for all cryptocurrencies, let's say, right? Bitcoin price dropped and because the, there is this strong connection, speculative connection between old coins or alternative other cryptocurrencies and then Bitcoin, all of the cryptocurrency prices dropped. Uh, however, what we have observed during 2018 is tremendous growth in uh, adoption of Dash. Mm -hmm. We have started the, the year 2018 with 500 merchants adopted, mm -hmm. but at the end of the year we had more than 4,000. So, oh. yeah, it was like exponential growth. We are monitoring this very closely. You can you can watch these numbers on the uh, that there is a web page Discovery Dash, mm -hmm. and that there are merchants being listed there. So we have uh, we have uh, observed this this adoption, and we are really happy because it means that users start to adopt and use Dash on daily basis in normal life, not speculation, mm -hmm. not, you know, trading only on, on exchanges, but, you know, to, to transact, actually to transact. And in general, we have developed the, the entire strategy for, for growth for 2019, and, and we are focusing on like five major areas. Hyperinflationary market mm -hmm. are one of them. So Venezuela is, is just the, the beginning. We are observing already that it's starting to be Venezuela-like <laughs> in, in Colombia, Ukraine, Turkey. So there are that there is more and more interest in Dash in the countries that have, let's say, problems or, or issues with their current currencies and, and financial systems. Another area of, of interest is like uh, cash-based industries and 
uh, great example is cannabis, legal cannabis industry in the mm -hmm. United States. It's a huge market, uh, heavily regulated, yes. and those regulations are preventing them to access financial <laughs> system. So they, they, what they have to do is, you know, to, to drive their business based on cash. Another area is remittances market. Mm -hmm. uh, right now we are focusing on, on remittances between United States and Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the solutions that are existing are okay, let's say, but you still have to go to the physical location, you have to deposit money there, it's being transferred. I mean, if Trump comes up with the new border wall, I mean, <laughs> it's getting more difficult to like yeah, move that's cash why, around. That's why, that's why we are very interested in this, because mm -hmm. Trump, Trump's wall, border wall, this not, will, will not stop this, right? Yeah. To, to use Dash, you, you need only your mobile wallet and mm -hmm. you can transfer money from United States to your family and on, or relatives mm -hmm. very quickly with, you know, with extremely low price. That's why remittances. Another area we are very interested in is uh, high chargeback mm -hmm. industries, e-gaming, e-gambling. Mm -hmm. Dash with, you know, speed of transaction, speed of confirmation and cost below one cent for, for single transaction. If it's fast, cheap, it's, I mean... Yeah, it's, it's, it's like designed for, for e-gaming and e-gambling, right? And also, last but not least, is uh, trading industry, but not for, like, trading itself. Uh, we are more interested in developing a solution for, for the exchanges for, to, to give them more opportunities for arbitrage. Mm -hmm. Right now, you know, it's slow if you want to transfer money from one exchange to another. Take it to and your original yeah. account and then move to another yeah, yeah, exchange. Yeah. It, it's, it's another slow. process you have to go through, it's yeah, another yeah. time. And can you imagine with instant send, mm -hmm. one second to, to transfer money and, uh, you know, it, it opens a, a lot of opportunities for arbitrage. Well, that is all the time we have today. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. That was Mr. Robert Wickle, the CEO of Dash Core Group. Thank you for watching. Thank you. It was a pleasure.